Welcome to the first video for our analysis of this playlist. There are four parts to the video, but I think it really needs to be watched in its entirety so that you can you know, weigh up what's been said. Let's get into the video. We're going to start this analysis by considering something we came across in one of our previous videos was Germany called Scythia. We noticed something interesting with a, with a tribe called the Gete. But first I would like to consider all the geography we're going to need. So the first thing is the Danube River. Let's look at the Danube River. So this part of the river is what's called the Lower Danube. So that would make this part the Upper Danube. We're also going to need to know about the Hercynian forest. It's going to be difficult to be definitive about this, but this box here is connected with the Hercynian forest. And if we think about this geography here and go to a better map. Okay, so we were thinking about this geography here. So if we say the region that was known as Germania is going to be what's connected with the Hercynian forest. So that's going to be an important detail. The Ister, we're told, is another name for the Danube River. The Elbe, this is a river flowing through Germany. The only other bit of geography I think we may need is the source of the Danube. I don't know how you um, pronounce this name. But we're told this is the, the source of the Danube. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But if we think about this country as so the southern part of Germany for the source of the Danube River. So that would be, you know, in this region here. I think we will also just mentioned Thrace as well. OK, so this is the map we're given for ancient Thrace. And if we go to a different map so we can see better where we're looking. So if you can see my cursor, this region here. So we're told ancient Thrace would have been incorporating parts of the modern day country of Bulgaria. And this is the map that we used for the Dacians. So yeah, we're introducing a lot for this, for this part of the video, but the Dacians are connected with the Gete. And some scholars actually say that the Gete and the Dacians were the same people. So can we say the Gete or the Dacians? So we might mention that in the video as well. I think that's all the geography we're going to need. Now we'll try interpret the sources. Before we look at the sources for ourselves, let's consider what we've been presented with. So it says the Gete were a Thracian related tribe. So we did look at the geography for Thrace, for what we've been presented with. And it says once they once inhabited the regions to the either side of the lower Danube. And we see it represented here, this highlighted area. I know it's quite small, so we'll just show that on the bigger map. So we say, they're saying we should be looking here for the, the territory of the Gete. But remember, they're also saying that the Gete could be the same as the Dacians. OK, so let's look at the sources for ourselves. We already mentioned some of this geography, how we have the, the Gete toward the Hercynian forest. And it also introduces another tribe here, the Suevi. But they hold the south side of Germany. So this, this source, um, Strabo, it really makes us think that we should be looking towards Germany. The fact that it mentions the Elbe River and this forest, and that uh, another tribe, the Suevi, are inhabiting a very similar region to the Gete, which is going to be Germania. And this is why we made a note of this that we're going to come back to the source because 
according to the scholar John Pinkerton, a Scottish antiquarian, interpreting what Strabo is saying, that the Getse would be a grand division of the Germans. So a Germanic nation or a Germanic people. And now we have to compare that to what it says here, that the Getse were a Thracian-related tribe. So we'll speak about that. I want to show you something with this source on this page. It says that, now speaking about the Dacians, but we know how that is, it looks like that's very much going to be connected with the Getae, that they are towards Germania and the sources of the Danube. So this is where you have to say it seems strange because we spoke about the source of the Danube. So in this region here, so it's saying for, for the Dacians towards Germania and the sources of the Danube. And I also want to show you an example how we have to be careful with what we're reading here. Let's go down to this one here. It says the Dacians lived on both sides of the lower Danube. So if we come across this and we're thinking about the Dacians or the Getae, we're going to say, well, there it says the lower Danube. But if we go to the source and check it ourselves, it says the Dacians on both sides of the Ister. Now we told that the Ister is another name for the Danube, but it doesn't say the lower part of the river. It just says both sides of the Ister. So then is this actually not an interpretation that's being added? It's not a direct quote. So I think we have to be careful that when we're looking at the, the page, the way they are interpreting the sources, are they actually giving a direct quote? This here looks like a direct quote. And then what about what what is actually in a what is actually an interpretation? So I think we have to be careful with that. But what is the information really saying? If we just think about that again. This source is saying that this territory of the Getae is connected with a tribe holding the south side of Germany. So we're thinking about Germany and the, the Elbe River, which we saw was a river in Germany. So we really are thinking um, Germania. We're also given the forest, which is connected with Germania. And then when we go to the, the source on this page, we see Looking, if we're looking for the Dacians, we should be looking towards Germania and the sources of the Danube, which would be in this region. So that makes you wonder why, when we look for the Getae, they're saying that they were inhabiting the lower Danube, which is this region here. So what I've done is I've just made a simple map for us to think about this which is the fairer way to interpret the the sources? So if I just move this, so we're told we should be looking for the Getae in this region, but is it not fairer to be considering Germania based on those things that we yeah those things that we've read? So I think that's very interesting for the Getae Dacians, and it is quite a big difference. How is that going to impact you know, our study? And it's also interesting thinking about the Getae being described as a, as a Thracian-related tribe. But now we have this scholar connecting the Getae saying that they are going to be considered a grand division of the Germans. So do we say one is right and one is wrong? Do we have to consider that it's either that the Getae are a Thracian related tribe or that they were a Germanic tribe? Or could it be maybe that they actually both correct and we just have to start changing what we think about the Thracians or Thrace? So we did show the map for Thrace. So if the Getae are considered a Thracian related tribe and if this is a fairer way of, a fairer way of interpreting the sources, is it not bringing the Thracians towards Germania? So that's something to um, to think about for for the Thracians as well. 
that's going to be it for this part of the video. We're going to look at another interesting thing with the Kete in terms of the etymology. And we'll also try, um, yeah, we'll also try speak further about this and try bring it together for for the end of the video where we speak about our picture that we um, that we're working on. I'd like to consider the Masagate. We notice how they have the element Gate in their name. We're going to focus on the etymology first. We have some interesting thoughts about the etymology. So it could be fish eating men or concerned with fish or fisherman for the tribe of the Masagate. But is that what it really means? We did speak quite a bit about how the Goths, the name could be the same as Gete. The Scottish antiquarian source that we were using gave these different examples of historians connecting the Goths with the Gete. So if they are the same name, should we not be considering something Gete or something Goths? And it's interesting that this, uh, this historian connects the Ostrogoths with the Masakate. So we'll mention that as well. We could have the answer from this page, which, which says that Massa could mean great. So then it would be the Masakate as the great Gate. But we're thinking the great Goths. And another idea could be strong. So the strong Goths. Is that not a more plausible meaning for the Massa Gate? So the greater Gate compared to what we've told here for the meaning as concerned with fish or fishermen or the fish eating men. But it's also interesting how we have here the Ostrogoths with the Massa Gate. This is where it gets difficult to analyze the information because this page is about the Jets. We did speak about this in our study of the Goths, our short study of the Goths. We spoke about how studying the Goths and thinking about these different variations took us from Scandinavia to India to China. So if Jets is cognate with Gete, could you also argue that it means the greater Jets. Then you could try justify, you know, the maps that we're given here. If we go to the top here. So we see we have the, Mas the Masagate here um, to the north of India, you know, coming towards China. You know, you can make an argument for that because we learned about the Jets in Afghanistan, Pakistan and India. So you could, you could make an argument for this map. But what about when the sources say that the Ostrogoths are the Masagate and the scholars are saying that the Goths are classified as a Germanic people. So now that's bringing the Masagate, you know, towards Germania. So it is difficult to interpret. So we have to, um, you know, really consider what's been said in these sources to try to get to the truth because it's quite important for the history. Let's just look at the reason why. We'll read this part out. So the Masagate are most famous for their queen Tamaris's alleged defeating and killing of Cyrus. So Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Persian Achaemenid Empire. So we can see how getting to the truth of the Masagate could be important for thinking about the Persian Empire because the way they have the Masagate here impacts on the way they present the Persian Empire. So it is important to, to get to the truth of these things. And what about the fact that they're being called the same as the Ostrogoths, which would be making us think about you know, the region of Germania and how would that impact the, the way we view the Persian Empire? 
So I just wanted to give you this example to show how it, how this could connect to the other work that we've done on the channel quite a long time ago. I was wondering if there are still people, if there are still viewers watching from when we were speaking about the Persian Empire and still following to see how we're actually starting to come full circle where we were speaking about the Persian Empire and these sources about the Massa Getae. Now we're trying to actually really think about the, the Getae and are we being presented with a fair picture for the Getae and also for you know, Dacia? To finish the video, I'd like to explain this map and the work we've been doing. So we were questioning this part of the Roman Empire, and this came from our playlist, the Roman Empire in the Holy Land series. And we were also questioning this part of the Roman Empire, and this is from the North Africa and the Mediterranean playlist. We're currently working on this playlist, exploring the Celtic world, and this is the part we're going to be questioning. So predominantly Dacia and the Getae. And you notice that I've not put Thrace inside that uh, shape, sphere or circle. So Thrace is not included. So remember we looked at this, this map. So I think we just have to be careful that we don't suggest things or say things that we're not sure about. So I'm not going to put that because I'm still, I'm still not sure about that. But what we are asking is you know, the fact that we considering something different for the Dacians and the Getae in terms of where we're looking for them, how does that impact or how does that influence the way we view the Thracians and Thrace? You know, are we starting to look more towards Germania? So that explains the map and the work we've been doing. I would like to share one more detail with the with the Dacians and the Gete because it's not just the sources regarding the geography. We also came across another interesting detail with a tribe called the Kati in Germania. And scholars are connecting the Kati with the name Gete or Goths. So if this is all correct, then we do have a tribe of the Kati in Germania being connected with the Gete. So we would have, you know, if you want to say evidence of the Getae being in Germania to also support what we were saying with the with the geography. But it's not just the geography that's important, it's also the timeline. How does this information affect the timeline with what we presented with for for the history of the Goths? Because the Goths need to be in certain regions for for the timeline and the history to make sense. So it's also quite important to think about this information with you know with what we're getting here in terms of when the Katsi are here in Germania and if they are Goths what does that mean for the timeline and the and the origins I don't know what you make of this video but to me it almost seems a bit bizarre that the source says we should be looking for the Dacians towards the sources of the Danube. But then we look at the maps that we've been given and we've got the Dacians where the Danube empties. So not at source, but you know where the river you know, empties out. So difficult to know what to say, but let's carry on with our analysis and searching. And I think we've also learned that it's important to Check the sources yourself to, you know, see what they say. In the next of our analysis videos for this playlist, I would like to think about what we've learned on the Hittites and why do they seem to come up so often, you know, throughout the playlist. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to those also that share comments and like the videos. I hope to see you in another video.